Drake Relay's uh, white flag and get a meet record. Yeah, it just feels awesome to be back home and just have the home crowd cheering me on. Like, even really felt that when it was kind of hard towards the last lap, just really pushed me forward. The wind kind of picked up tonight. Did that bother you at all much? It didn't look like it. Yeah, I just tried not to focus on that. I knew I had one goal, and that was to try to go for the record, and I didn't want to have the external factors be in the way. What did it mean to do it on this track and, and do it in front of the hometown? Yeah, it means so much to me just being back in my hometown and just where it all started and to be able to run like I am now. I never would have even dreamed of that when I was a high schooler, so it really just brings back a lot of memories. How much you have left in the tank? Your last 469 seconds, the 800 was at 74? I actually didn't even know that, but um, thank you. I just always try to kick it into another gear um, my last couple laps and just try to envision um, big races and being able to practice that kick. What does the pace setter do for you? It just helps me really um, relax towards the beginning of the race and like I said it was pretty windy so to be able to have someone take it for a little bit truly helps a lot. And did you know how long that Anna was going to be there to help pace? Couple, yeah I knew she was going to be there for a mile and after that I knew it was going to be all me so I had to just kind of focus on keeping that rhythm. Jenny Simpson talked about keeping an eye on you after you took down a record at indoors. What's it mean when you know you're getting attention from some of the world's best right now? Um, I didn't even hear that. That's so cool to hear her even mention my name. It's just cool that she even knows me. But um, she's always been a big role model for me, and I've seen her run here like many times. And to be even like mentioned by her is really cool. Thank you. Yeah.